breaking up with me? I thought you were proposing. Proposing? <laughs> Hell, if I'm gonna be a senator, well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. <laughs> this is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. This is what I need to become to be serious. What? Practically deformed? No. A law student. Harvard Law School? That's right. Vivian Kensington. Do you know her? It, she's. Uh... I'm his fiance. Because I'm not afraid of a challenge. That only leaves one for... If you're going to let one stupid prick ruin your life, you're not the girl I thought you were. Because they got wet? Exactly. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thiglocalate? Yes. And wouldn't somebody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? And if, in fact, you weren't washing your hair, as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if, in fact, you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to have found Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. Isn't that right? She's my age. Did she tell you that? How would you feel if your father married someone who was your age? You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Order, order. I just wanted to say that you were so brilliant in there and that and you are the girl for me. I love you. Oh, Warner. I've waited so long to hear you say that. But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. 